Okay, so next we're going to learn about um, the Kansas-Nebraska Act. Now this one is kind of forgotten a lot because it doesn't have a cool like compromise or, or it doesn't have as cool of a name, but you guys, this is seriously one of the most important ones and it's one that is kind of interesting in how it works um, and it really helps you understand American history as well. So um, at the time, there wasn't, you couldn't move to Nebraska yet and like, own land. It was a weird rule. I don't, I didn't really understand it to be quite honest, but the country was really nervous to open it up because they were like, ooh, it's right on that line at the 36th parallel. So would it be a slave state or would it be a free state? And if it's a free state, then this would ruin, well, if Kansas became a free or slave state, it would break the, um, the Missouri Compromise, right? So it's like, what are we going to do with this area? We don't know what to do. It's, it's, right? Can you imagine like tension to the, it has to be a free state. No, it has to be a slave state. And they're, ugh, people are honoring, people are mean. So finally it was at the point where like, we have to make them states. Like we have to make Nebraska and Kansas. They need to be a state. People need to be able to own land there. We just, it's got to be done. And so all of these different people started debating. And then you have Stephen Douglas. Now, you guys, I have a love-hate relationship with Stephen A. Douglas. He was the one who went against Lincoln for president. They went against each other for a couple things, and usually Douglas won. He was an amazing speaker. He was an amazing politician, like one of the all-time best. The debate between Lincoln and uh, Douglas, sorry, his name, <laughs> um, is one that will go down in history. Like you can reread all the transcripts and people study them and they're like one of the best debates in presidential. Well, that was actually for their Senate. They were both going against each other for um, the state Senate. Anyway, so Stephen A. Douglas comes and he's fighting saying, no, we need to make Kansas a slave state. We need to do all of these things. But if Kansas becomes a slave state, then it's going to like cancel out the Missouri Compromise. And the North is saying, if we get rid of the Missouri Compromise, then what's gonna make us get rid of the uh, Compromise of 1850? There's so many compromises to keep track of. And so North is really, really nervous. So Stephen A. Douglas comes and says, all right, well, let's let the states decide. So they did. They he passed this law saying each new state that came into our country um, became a new, it goes through statehood they can have a vote within their state to decide if they want to be a free or a slave state. Okay, it seems simple. It's it's not because the South, like both states are like, we have to keep things equal and you know, of course you can see the government freaking out. But to me, it makes sense. Um, anyway, so there's one thing that's important to understand in this time period. There are not the strict voting laws that we have today. You don't have to go in and show your driver's license. Um, that's just not how it was. And so people were like, well, you know, the North wanted to be a free state and the South wanted to be a slave state. So people rushed to Kansas because they're like, well, we're going to vote. Like, we might not live there, but we we care. And so they would pretend to vote, live there and vote. And then they would go cut their hair and they would vote again. And then they would go shave their beard and they would vote again. And they would just vote and vote and vote and vote and vote. Well, of course, like you're out, you know, if you're waiting to vote and you're like, I'm going to vote free. And someone's like, well, I'm going to vote vote slave and pretty soon like these fighting and I mean people were murdered it is called bloody Kansas because of the fights that ensued during this election okay so this was a crazy time because Kansas did end up coming in as a slave state which nulled the Missouri Compromise because they were over the line and it made the north really stressed and the south was just frustrated because they're just really getting frustrated the south is feeling like everyone's picking on them and so they're just getting more and more tense. And this is starting to really, you're starting to see those little grains of, of Civil War come where the South's starting to say, hey, enough. Like, you're going to treat us like this, we're going to leave. Um, and you're starting to see those threats start to come out.